Davo, I used to do it personally, just to show to the guys that if I can do it, why can't you? And, uh, and, and I go around Davo with a motorcycle, with a big bike, no, no, and I would just patrol the streets and looking for trouble also. So that last little bit that so that last little bit that you heard right there, I was looking for an encounter so I could kill. So obviously that raising some eyebrows today. Amnesty International, they've been very critical of his crackdown on the drug trade already. They're saying that by him saying this, by almost being boastful about it, it's going to show uh, other police officers and vigilantes that perhaps they won't face any sort of repercussions for this sort of behavior as well. They continue to call on him to to stop that brutal crackdown. Ian, worth mentioning, since Duterte took power in June, estimated more than 2,000 people have died in gun battles with police. Let's not lose sight. This is the president of a country talking casually about killing people uh, with no legal justification mm -hmm. for doing that. But, but how seriously should we take his claims? Depends who you believe, because the justice minister of the Philippines, he quickly responded to this earlier today, saying that Duterte was exaggerating in this case. He actually said that Duterte tends to exaggerate as well to help tell a story, that he uses hyperbole to get a message across. However, in another way to interpret what we saw today, he's been implicated several times uh, by many bodies throughout the world, including intelligence officials in the West, that he has personally overseen at least some crackdowns and some killings of individuals. So really a couple different ways to look at this. There are some examples of him, however, using exaggerations or colorful language. He said that the CIA has a plans to assassinate him, if not oust him. Uh, he said that the United States is involved in currency manipulation to farm the Philippines economy. He also said that he was channeling the Pope, for example, when he was uh, in bringing down his war on drugs. And he actually did say once that he claimed God told him to stop swearing so or he will cause his plane to crash. So Ian, he has used this kind of language before. Obviously, he will only know the answer. So it really depends, you know, what side of this you want to believe.